What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Share this broadcast if you're willing. place in the city of Grand Rapids. A lot of people need help. So what we're going to do tonight is in this location, when you do true pray, prayer, praise, and worship, it literally does open the heavens. And we're going to open the heavens over this, this particular place, this park. This park has a lot of homeless people in it, a lot of people who are struggling with addictions. We're going to break open the heavens over this park. And I hope that even after this, this prayer gathering is over and we go home and all that, that the glory of God will still be in this place tomorrow. Usually this uh, park is full with people. I didn't know what to expect when I came here. I didn't know if it was going to be a, a whole lot of people like it usually be. Or if it was going to be a little bit of people. I had no clue. I just said, my Lord, I'll go as long as I can go someplace where my back is covered. That's it. That was my only request. As long as my back is covered, nobody can walk behind me I'm good <laughs> but other than that I'm here for the prayer gathering let's open the heavens over this place
go ahead and get started. My name is Joelle Stamps, Prophetess Joelle Stamps. I'm a non-denominational Christian. Welcome to G514 Nonprofit Ministries. This is our Thursday night prayer gathering. Prayer, praise, and worship. Okay? Today we are in the city of Grand Rapids, our hometown for G514. And we are at Heartside Park. And tonight, I'm about to open the heavens over this park. There's a lot of people out here who need the glory of God upon their life. And we can do that by our prayer, praise, and worship. So that's what we about to do. Let's get it cracking. Let's start off with prayer. Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please have your perfect, good, and pleasing will over this prayer gathering. May it be a blessing to everyone who views it now and within the future. I bind, chain, and cage any demonic attack that will come to this prayer gathering today. And I decree and declare that this prayer gathering will go forward. It will be a blessing. God will have his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I decree and declare it in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray Psalms 91, 121, 18, 35, and Psalms 4, verse 8 over this prayer gathering. And I bind, cage, and chain any demonic attack that will come to us after this prayer gathering is completed. I bind, chain, and cage those attacks, and I send it back to its sender sevenfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I apply the blood of Jesus Christ, the fire of God, and the cross of Jesus Christ upon us. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. Thank you, my Lord. I repent on the behalf of myself and over um, on the behalf of the United States of America and every nation across the globe. For every sin, iniquity, trespass, wrongdoing, offense, transgression that we have made against you, Father, your Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that our sins will be cleansed with the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for our forgiveness and that you show us kindness, mercy, favor, and grace all of our days in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 over us all. Starting at 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins squared about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shield with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So I put on my whole armor of God, and I pray that everybody involved in this prayer will put on their whole armor of God as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And I put on the... And I apply the blood of Jesus Christ, the fire of God, and the cross of Jesus Christ upon us. May it be a shield of protection over us in Jesus Christ's name. I bind, chain, and cage Satan, the beast, and the false prophet. I bind, chain, and cage every principality, power, authority, ruler of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I command you, mighty host of heaven, to cast these cast these caged spirits into the dry dark pits of hell to be chained and bound there for the great day of judgment by my lord and savior jesus christ and seal the pits of hell i silence every demonic blood offering operating across the usa and across the nations i tear down every demonic altar every witchcraft altar satanic altar marine altars men and women altars and any altars that i failed to state I demolish all demonic ritualisms operating across the USA and I close every demonic portal, door, gate, or demonic entrance of any kind and I seal it shut with the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind, chain, and cage all witchcraft, divination, and sorcery. I bind, cage, 
well, I'm sorry, I bind, chain, and cage all workers of darkness. Every witch, witch doctor, wizard, warlock, chief priestess, high priestess, fallen angel, demon, devil, Satan, and all of Satan's agents on all authority levels, I bind, chain, and cage them in the name of Jesus Christ. I, pr I pray for their repentance, salvation, healing, deliverance, and inner healing. I bind, chain, and cage the unclean spirits operating over them. I decree... I'm sorry, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ, the fire of God, and the cross of Jesus Christ upon them. And I decree and declare that Father God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit's full purposes and full destinies that they placed upon these people's lives before they were even placed in their mother's wombs, God's full purposes and full destinies will be fully fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind, chain, and cage all of the agents of darkness, demonic plans, activities, and workings. I cast them down to the ground and I decree and declare that they are now canceled, void, blocked, and destroyed in Jesus Christ's name. I pray against Satan, Satan's agents in the kingdom of darkness. I pray against their abilities, authorities, territories, incantations, amulets, curses, hexes, dexes, and vexes. I pray against their ability to astral travel, to see in the spiritual realm, and I blind every third eye and cut every silver cord operating across the USA and across the nations. I burn those silver cords with the fire of God. I pray against their ability to control, manipulate, and dominate people and their ability to steal souls. I pray against their ability to steal promises, gifts, and blessings from the people of God and from the people of the land. I bind, chain, and cage these workings. I cast them down to the ground. And I decree and declare that they're now canceled, void, blocked, and destroyed in Jesus Christ's name. I pray Proverbs 6, 31 against Satan, his agents in the kingdom of darkness. For it says, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Mighty host of heaven, go into the house of Satan, Satan's agents in the kingdom of darkness. Take out everything in their possession and take it back to its rightful places, rightful owners. Sevenfold, I command you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind, chain, and cage the kingdom of darkness. Assignments, duties, tasks, wills, desires, and intentions. I cast them down to the ground and I decree and declare that they're now canceled, void, blocked, and destroyed. They will never, ever go forward ever or ever again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind up Satan's powers, I take his powers, I break his powers, and I give them to Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ is King, Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus Christ is the only Son of God. Jesus Christ came down to earth, died on the cross, and rose on the third day. He went into the pits of hell, took the keys from the devil, then, then went to see his disciples, then ascended back up into heaven to be on the right hand side of Father God. All power and authority belongs in the hands of Jesus Christ. I loose from heaven down onto earth, Galatians 5, 22 through 23, all the fruits of the Spirit, the rivers of God, the rivers of life, the promises, gifts, and blessings written in the Word of God. I loose from heaven down onto earth, the kingdom of God, assignments, duties, tasks, wills, desires, and intentions. I decree and declare that Father God's initial wills and initial plans will fully manifest on earth as it is in heaven. I decree and declare it in Jesus Christ's name. I pray for our bodies, souls, spirits, and conscience. I pray for our family bloodlines on the maternal sides and the fraternal sides. I pray for this, um, for our communities, cities, counties, and states across the USA and for all of the nations across the globe. I pray for our prison and jail systems. I'm sorry, I pray for the President of the United States of America and all of our government officials in high and low places across the USA. And I pray for every citizen of every nation across the globe. I pray for our prison and jail systems, mental health and psychiatric institutions, health systems, banking systems, insurance companies of all sorts. I pray for full student loan forgiveness for all the graduates. I pray for full reparations for all African Americans and peoples negatively affected by the U.S. slave trade. I pray for our federal, state, and city governments. I pray for our foster care systems, child protective services systems, anti-domestic violence systems, anti-animal cruelty systems. 
I pray for our educational jurisdiction and law enforcement systems. I pray for our alphabetical, numeral, and sound frequency systems. I pray for our legislative, exec, and judicial branches of government. And I pray for our economic, geophysical, political, religion, and war systems across the nations. I pray that we'll be at the right places at the right time so that our full purposes and our full destinies will be fully fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that our hearts and our attitudes will align with the kingdom of God. I pray for our salvation, healing, deliverance, and inner healing. I pray that we'll be filled with the Holy Spirit and the baptism of fire. And I release the anointing into this place in Jesus Christ's name. Come on, y'all. We got to release. We got to open up the heavens over this place. You see these people? These are God's people. And he wants them back. He's not playing. He wants his people back from the hands of the enemy. He wants them back. You may not care about them, but the Lord cares about them, and he wants them back. He did not send his son to die on the cross for the devil to still have his people. So we're going to shake it up tonight. This is what G514 is all about. We're going to shake it up tonight. Woo! The enemy don't want none tonight. He's scared of people like me. He's scared of the true Christians that will come out and pray against them. Will we? Don't be no lukewarm Christian now. It don't mean jack to say you follow Jesus Christ and you powerless. It don't mean nothing. Y'all better pick up y'all dang on crosses and get to walking. Woo wee! Come on! Who will pray with me? Woo! So today's main objective, thank you, um, Julia. <laughs> so today's main objective is for God's will to go forward. He know every single person in this park, every single person in this city, every single person in the USA, every single person on this earth, he know who they are. How? Because he, he sent their soul to go be in a body on this earth. Stop playing with God like he's not the creator. Like he don't know every single person he sent down to this earth. He know where they at. He know what they doing. He know what they going through. And he sends people out into this world to spread the gospel. Not only does he send people out into this world to spread the gospel, but at some point you should be able to deliver people off this dang on place. When you go places, you should be able to deliver them. Set people free through the Holy Spirit who has all of those gifts. It's time to stand up, y'all. Stop being these lukewarm Christians and get out here. It don't mean nothing if you just say, oh, I, I, I know Jesus Christ. And you don't, do, you don't do nothing. And on top of that, your life probably don't even reflect that you serve the true and living God. Get up! Stop playing around!
Whoa, wait! Whoa, wait! <laughs> Let's open the heavens over this place with true prayer, praise, and worship. You can open up the heavens wherever you are. You can open it up. Mighty host of heaven, you heard that prayer objective. The prayer objective is for God's will to go forward on earth as it is in heaven. Do as these scriptures support the prayer objective. Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please have your perfect good and pleasing will over these prayer commands, prayer requests, supplications, um, prayers, intercessions, thanksgivings, and petitions. I ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2.15 For so is the will of God, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. 1 John 2.16-17 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Ephesians 5.17 Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these sh things shall be added unto you. John 7, 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. In Proverbs 19, um, 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. And then lastly, Matthew 6, 10, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. All right. How you can help this prayer to go forward is participate. <laughs> okay. How do you participate? You can clap along, you can sing along, you can pray in the spirit. If if um pray in the spirit, you can speak in tongues, you can pray a prayer from your heart, you can um speak out scripture on God's will going forward. Um you can play instruments, you can dance before the Lord, whatever you want to do. To push this prayer forward. Concerned about now. God's on, skin tone, you will miss everything. The whole purpose of Him coming Come to on, the earth went over your head. He, all the he is God. On, he is more than a than Jesus a skin tone. We want to welcome you all, everyone, and those who shall. Heavenly Father, it is a good 
willing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. We thank you for your loving kindness. We praise you for your faithfulness. Father, we love you both now and forevermore. And Lord Jesus, you said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. This is a holy gathering. We are gathered together in your name, and we know that you are in the midst of us. And wherever you are, there is peace that passes all understanding. Wherever you are, there is joy in the spirit of the glory. Wherever you are, there is perfect love that casts out all fear. Jesus, you are our love, and we love you because you first loved us. And Holy Spirit, you inspired the prophet Zechariah to say these words. And you shall ask of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone who grass in the field. Holy Spirit, we hear the sound of the abundance of rain. We anticipate bright clouds of your awesome power. We wait on you for showers of your unfailing love. We thank you for your presence. And Holy Spirit, we love you just for who you are. Change us with your glory, Lord. Fill us with your power. Saturate us with your love. Holy Spirit, rain on us. Hallelujah! You ready? 
We believe it's him God. Okay. 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 Say it with your mouth. 
I can't say it for you. I can't accept Jesus Christ for you. You got to do it in your heart. Oh, my son. Okay? So, dear Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord of Jesus. Yes, yes, how you are. Yes, I do. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I do. Yes. Say, dear Lord Jesus. Uh, yes. Yeah, Lord I, I, I love you, Jesus. I know that I am a sinner. I know I am a sinner. Right now, I turn from my sins. Say it one more time. Right now, I'm turning on my sin. And open the door of my heart and life to you. Open my door. And open, open the door, door of, of my heart and life, life to you. And I'm alive with you. Okay. I receive you as my Savior. I receive you like Savior. Deliverer. Deliverer. Healer. Healer. Come into my life, Come Jesus. Into my life. And save me. Sorry. Amen. All right. Can I pray for you? Yes. Let him on for come on, man. Don't point my hand for you, brother. Pray me for me. Okay, you want me to hold your hand? Or yes. Turn? Okay. No, not him. Okay. <laughs> Dear Lord. No him. He's dead. Don't say that. You, you know, you know that the Lord, man, man, Jesus man. Christ, he won't, he won't the accept square. your, he won't accept the your. Um, no, it's, okay. it's okay. You got to You got to forgive people. That's okay. how he forgives you. You got to forgive other people. Okay, okay. Otherwise, you gonna block yourself. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please be with these two men. You have a full purpose and a full destiny on their lives that you placed upon their life before they were even, even sent out into this world and before they were even placed in their mother's wombs. I pray that those full purposes and those full destinies that you placed upon their life will be fully fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind, chain, and cage any demonic um, interferences that is um, operating over their life, I bind, chain, and cage it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that their full purposes and their full destinies will be fully fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I apply the blood of Jesus, the fire of God, and the cross of Jesus Christ upon them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. I pray for their salvation, healing, deliverance, and inner healing. My Lord, take out anything that's not like you that's within them. Take it out and replace it with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Hold on. Let the Holy Spirit move.
Oh, beautiful. Well, thank you. So, have you, have you seen me before? No. So, why you, 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 you told me that something I don't like? I, I like. Huh? I like it something you, you, you talk. You like the way I talk? Yeah. So, can I get my, my number and call me tomorrow? No. And see, if you want your family, yeah. you have to be true to your wife. Okay? Yeah. You got to be true to her or she'll go away. That's how the enemy steals from you. When you do things yeah. to align with yeah. the enemy, with Satan, yeah. he can steal things from you. So when you when you go and you and you talk to women or you lust for women, he can take your family away from you. Yeah. Because you aligned with him. Yeah, 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 I agree. So so when you get your family back, treat her right. And if you feel like if you feel like, man, I I can't I can't stop lusting over women or whoever. I can't stop lusting. You gotta ask Jesus Christ to help you. Okay? So you, 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 you mean to call it tomorrow? Or tomorrow no. <laughs> you funny. Come okay. on up. Thank you. You're welcome. So, hold on. Okay. I need to try to call my sister. Oh, my my Okay. I'm going to go. Okay. Uh, what it was? What it was? African people is different. You said African people, the devil? Yeah. Well, the thing is, a lot of Africans, you guys are into witchcraft and demonology and things like that, but not every African. So you can't say <laughs> that Africans are the devil. You can just say people who are into witchcraft and demon demonology are, you know, evil. Mm -hmm. But you can't say that, you know, so, every person okay. is evil. Okay, uh, you know what I mean to say uh, mm -hmm. African people is evil because you know you, I mean that how, how your mom is taking my kids away because of every Sunday night I'm asleep I never wake up because uh, time I see it oh, I'm, I, 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 because the evil they come to life because the demons come at night? Yeah, you know what I mean? To, to I'm you? a devil too. Are you a devil? Yeah. Not no more, because you accepted Jesus Christ. It's no room for two two masters. So are you going to serve the true and living God, or are you going to serve um, the devil? The devil will keep you out here, but Jesus Christ, he'll have you up in a, in a place like that. You see how beautiful that place is? Yeah, he'll have you up in a place like that if you serve him. Oh, uh, no, no. So you sit here? Hmm? No, I don't. I'm just saying that when you serve the true and living God, He yeah. will He will bless you if you're faithful with your life and with your heart. Now Mama, the enemy, he Mama, will he will Mama, sit here Mama, and lie to you. Mama, I, I see on the corner. You have a uh, you have a uh, yellow. I see you on the corner. You see me on the corner. What was I doing? Living yet. Huh? Yet or something. Was you or somebody else? It was me and somebody else? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Why you ask me that? Hmm? Why you ask me that? Because I see, I see some lady. I don't know. Is you, or? you saw some lady? She has a yellow something. I don't know. Is she? I feel no more. When? When you see her? I need to talk with the woman. Oh no, that ain't me. So you seen me before? No. So you, you know who I met? No. Sorry. No, I don't, we never met. How old are you? 25 years old. I know, you told me. Mom. But the thing is, follow Jesus Christ. He's the, he's the way. He really is. I'm not just talking to you. 
just to, to give you hope. He's really the way. If you want to get out of this situation you in, yeah. and you want to come and get back into the real world, he can help you to do that. But you got to give him your heart, and you got to give him your life. It's not enough for you just to say, hey, I, 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 I like Jesus Christ, or yeah, I serve Jesus Christ, but your heart and your life don't reflect that. Your mouth and your actions have to align. They have to match up. Otherwise, you're lying to yourself. And just so you know, hell is a real place. When you don't accept Jesus Christ into your heart, there's only one other place that you can go, and that's to the pits of hell. I'm not saying that to, to be mean. I just want you to know the full ramifications, okay? There's only a, a heaven where Jesus Christ dwells and hell, which never was meant for you. It was meant for the devil and his angels. But human beings, they, but human beings, they also they align with Satan. They, hold on. They align with Satan, and that's how they end up in hell. Now, now, Jesus Christ, he sent people out into the world. People like me. It's a lot of me's out there. You know, a lot of people across the nation that spread the gospel and they tell people this so that they can be prepared and they can make the right decision. Okay? So this is a divine intervention tonight. He sent me out into this park for this specifically. He knew you was going to be here. He knew we was going to break open the heavens, in which we did. And then I'm going to go home and be on my way. But you have been spoken to. Jesus Christ, he spoke to you. You can't say that nobody ever told you about Jesus Christ or the pits of hell. You have been talking to today. And I promise you, when you go on your judgment day, whenever that will be, he going to come up and he going to bring up these moments. These moments are recorded. I'm not lying. These moments are recorded. He going to show you that, hey, People, I sent my people to come talk to you. No, no, no. I sent my people to come talk to you. And you blew, and you blew them off. You blew him off. Okay? So I just want, I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to get you to know the ramifications. Yeah. That there's a heaven and there's a yeah. hell. Yeah. And you have a decision to yeah. make. No, no, no. no. All right, I got to get out of here. It's getting dark. <laughs> okay? But I, I love you, brother. I want you to come home to Jesus Christ. He literally has a whole plan for your life. If you just give him your life. Give him your life. It's the best thing that you could ever do for yourself. So, so how going to bring you? How going to bring you to me? How, how are you going to believe me? You don't gotta believe me. Believe Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna come to you. I, I see you. That don't matter. Hmm? It don't matter. Except Jesus Christ. Find you a church. I'm sure these these places around here is a church where you can go to or, or something. Or better yet, you don't even have to find you a church. You can pray to him yourself so I'm gonna get, tonight. So how much kids you got? I don't have no kids. See, the enemy is trying to, he's trying to change your, your thought yes. process. He's trying to throw you off. Tonight, you should have your kids. Tonight, yes. when you should, listen so, to this. You, you know how many kids I got? And this is why you need to give them your life. So you can get your kids back. And you can get your life back. The enemy got you out here walking aimlessly. You need to get your life back, and Jesus Christ can give you your life back. He can. He loves you. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you uh, tomorrow morning. I won't be here. This is it. This is it. That's why you gotta get it now. Now what you can do is tonight, wherever you lay your head. Talk to Jesus. Tell him what you what you need. 
so when you need Jesus, I need the, I need the beautiful woman like you. Huh? I need the woman like you. No, you don't. You need your family. You no, have no, a family. No. You got kids. You got a wife. Mom. You need them Mom. back. And you need your life back. The enemy stole your life. He stole it. Are you going to take it back? You not going to take it back? Why you don't want to take it back? Oh, man. It's, it's worth something. Your life is worth something. And, and he knows that. I gotta get out of here. It's getting dark. My assignment is over. Check out G514 Nonprofit Ministries. Check out what we're doing. Um, we want to have, like, we want to rent out venues in the city of Grand Rapids to help people in prayer, praise, and worship. 
open up the heavens so people can get delivered, people can get sanctified, people can get healed. But until that day comes, we will be continue to do what we do out in the streets. All right, y'all. I'll be back next Thursday. Yep, next Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, y'all. And I'm out. <laughs>